Welcome back to not my channel. It is Ashley God's channel. Hey everybody, it's Alicia here. First time see my face, face, face. Not be my uh, mama, but me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I'm being so silly. Alright, so, hope you like the new uh, setup here, oh, ambiance. Oh, I got my candle, yeah, it looks looking good. Alright, so, I'm ready for bed, guys. I just did this for extra modesty, okay? You can learn that about me. Just go down the bath and my hair's all curly and not dry. All that good stuff. But anyways, um, <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and say hi. Earlier today, I was reading a scripture, and I felt the Holy Spirit put on my heart what to uh, what to read to you guys next. So, I was reading in Matthew six. Sorry, give me one second. Where did it go? Oh goodness! Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's going to be Matthew six, starting at verse twenty-five. Okay, so it says, "This is why I tell you." Don't worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Can any of you add a single cubit to his height by worrying? And why do you worry about clothes? Learn how the wildflowers of the field grow. They don't labor or spin, or let's see, labor or spin thread. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was adorned like one of these. If that's how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown into the furnace tomorrow, won't he do much more for you? You of little faith. Uh, so don't worry, saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? For the idolaters eagerly seek all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be provided for you. Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Amen and amen to that. All right, you guys, I actually just got done recording an 18-minute version of this, but I don't know if this album will get uploaded, ah, because it's really long, and I remembered there's always this always a suggestion on YouTube telling me to keep my videos under 15 minutes, okay? Um, probably because I only have 10 gigabytes and so when I've tried to upload videos that are like past 16, for example, you know, or that were way longer, it won't upload. So I don't know if that one will. So I was like, oh no, what do I do? Do I re-record? <laughs> so anyways, here we are guys. So um, this is just a chill, relaxing environment. I wanted to give you that word that the Holy Spirit put up my heart earlier to give you. And I did already pray before I got on here. But I did want to touch base on a couple things that the Holy Spirit did tell me, you guys. Um, or not the Holy Spirit. Hold on. I totally said that wrong. I meant to say I wanted to tell you guys some things I've been thinking about. <laughs> All right. So anyways, I'm wanting to change my... YouTube channel name. I'm not sure when. Maybe the next few days. Maybe a week. I don't know. I want to give you guys a heads up. So make sure you're already subscribed and your notifications are turned on. Okay. So that way uh, when my channel name does change, you'll already be able to transfer with it. Okay. Um, because as much as I like Alicia Life Coach, the reason why I put that as my name was to, I was doing that in hopes of being able to transfer a lot of my followers or people on Twitter, right, um, over to this channel. But at the same time, anytime somebody new comes to my channel, I have to explain that, you know, welcome back to not my channel. This is actually God's channel, right? And that's kind of confusing. But I had said that at the beginning of when I started creating these videos and it just kind of stuck. And so I was like, ah, oh, I like that. You know, trying to give God all the glory, right? 
that's what I want to do. So, but the thing is, I need a new name now because <laughs> uh, it's getting kind of confusing. Even though I am a life coach and I'm a Christian life coach, you know, I can mention that on certain videos or when it's appropriate, but I don't think that's the name I should keep. You know, I'm kind of in limbo right now. So please help me come up with a name. I know I did a survey on Twitter on what I should change it to. Um, and I, I keep thinking of more and more ideas on possible names, so I'm not really sure. I even wondered if I should change it to Alicia, or not Alicia, but just say uh, like Christian Life Coach or something like that. But I'm not too sure. So just heads up on that. Make sure you're subscribed, please. And your notif notifications are turned on already. So that way when the change does happen, you won't get lost, okay? <laughs> and you'll be able to still find my channel. And another thing I want to tell you guys is the censorship for me on Twitter is, is really high right now. So that's why I actually tag all of your names in the videos or send them to you directly. And I apologize if some of you are getting annoyed by that, but I found that literally none of my stuff is getting seen if I don't do that. Like on Twitter anyways, there's no hearts or anything next to it. Like it'll just show nothing. And that's been, been that way for me for a while now. Uh, but once I started uploading my videos, it got way worse. And so I definitely feel like it's censorship and that's fine, it is what it is. But it's making it harder for me to get the word out and you know, um, have people come to this channel and know about me. <laughs> and so just please be patient with me on that and I'm still learning and I haven't really learned how to edit. I'm actually still trying to learn how to navigate through YouTube. Um, I learned how to draw, and when my daughter actually did those little dots in one of the videos, that was kind of a fluke. <laughs> she was drawing on it. She's like, Mom, let me practice. I said, okay. And then the next thing you know, we accidentally saved it, but she actually was so excited about that. And so I made a big deal about it. I was like, yay, you did the first edit on one of my videos. <laughs> Make her way happy and feel involved, because she really wants to be involved. But... Um, I don't know if I necessarily want my daughter on camera. I kind of have mixed feelings about that. And so, yeah, we have our reasons. And then you guys are seeing me sport the glasses. Part of it is because it's so bright in here. I'm trying to get decent lighting. And I wear glasses anyway, so you guys would see glare regardless, right? And also because I feel that God's told me I could show myself. But, you know, it's just extra pr protection from biometric stuff that they want from people. And, I personally feel like that's a wisdom thing for me because, um, you know, I don't live in fear. God doesn't give me a spirit of fear, but he is also saying, you know, it's, I personally feel like it's wise for me at this point. So, you know, unless that might change in the future, but for now I got my cute little sunglasses. And like I said, I wear regular glasses anyways, and those lights would be shining all over me anyway. So it is what it is. But um, I appreciate all of you so much. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm at eight minutes. See, I'm blind. I'm like, I just have sunglasses. They're not prescriptions. I'm like, uh, how many minutes in am I? <laughs> okay, I'm at eight minutes. <laughs> like I said, the last video was really long. And so I hope you guys are enjoying my silly videos too. I hope you guys understand why humor. like, look, check this out. So today when I uploaded that video with the my mom, my mom's arm, right? Wasn't that funny? So I hope you guys understand that, you know, I just love humor. I used to, in my early teens, actually, I don't even know what age I started, but I've always, always, like, enjoyed doing pranks to people and strangers and going to the store and doing pranks. And then when I got into my 20s, I started going and doing improv at the comedy club when I wasn't working, my regular job. And... My day job, you know, and so it was just it's such a passion of mine, and it still is, and it always has been. But at the time, it wasn't the right timing, and I feel like God kind of helped me with that one. Kind of, um, I don't know how to word it, but I feel like His hand was over my life at that time. I wasn't a Christian. I mean, I kind of was. I guess I was kind of a lukewarm Christian, but not all of my jokes were clean and. In the back of my head, I kind of like, would kind of feel guilty about that a little bit. And like, But in the back of my head, once I became like full-blown Christian, like full-blown, like I'm all in for Jesus, right? I've always in the back of my head wanted to use that to help glorify God in some way. And so I'm actually finally, after all these years, and I'm not going to say my age because I just, for privacy reasons, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I'm older, okay? But um, 
<laughs> I've literally wanted to just glorify God through club, like, you know, just make people laugh, but to do it in a fun, honoring way, you know, clean way, you know, to bring him glory. And so I, pray, I hope and pray that you guys are enjoying my silly videos. Um, like I said, it's clean humor, so we all need to laugh. And so I definitely felt like God told me to do that with this channel as well. And so anyway, I'm trying to come up with the new name, what it's going to be. I don't know yet. I have a few ideas. But um, stay encouraged, you guys. I, I hope you guys are happy finally showing my eyes. <laughs> like my cute little tapestry you guys have been looking at all the time now. See, there it is. There it is, y'all. <laughs> That's actually my front room. I, I really like it, but beautiful. Good little ambiance uh, scenery over here. But um, you all, I just really want to be connected you know i'm grateful for any of you who have subscribed and who are on this journey with me um except that first video i recorded it was god bringing me to my knees and saying no more no more you can't stall anymore Let's see we're at 11 minutes oh i gotta start wrapping this up because i don't want to have to re-record again but um now i'm like i feel like i'm stepping into my purpose and it feels so good and I just am so grateful for all of you, and I want you to truly know that. And so, you're seeing more of my mama, you're seeing more of me, we be coming on, we're family. If you're born again, brother in Christ, sister in Christ, we're a family. Woo, 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 woo. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just silly. All right, you guys. I love you all so much. Uh, stay tuned to the next video and the name change. Oh, I think I forgot to mention. Ah, we got to make this short. Ah, there was another thing I wanted to tell you. I want to start having a schedule so you guys know when I'm uploading. So I'm still experimenting with times. Um, I'm going to do that with this video. I'm probably going to record it, upload it, but then not have it showcase or, you know, um, made public actually view until a certain date because you can schedule it that's what i did with my last video the one that didn't have a title on it until i'd go in and back go back in and edit it um so yeah anyway a lot of cool things happening but i want you guys to know i'm very serious about this youtube thing i'm beyond excited i'm still trying to learn how to edit and all that fun stuff um but i have you all in mind okay i want to continue to encourage you all and just help encourage each other to the finish line Go so meet our king. Go home and be with Jesus. I can't wait. And then anybody who's new to my channel, if you're stumbling upon this video, please go watch my very, very first video titled uh, Warning from God, Choices to be Made. Part one and part two. Very, very good. Definitely Holy Spirit filled. In fact, number one, that first video, I was, I had re-recorded like five times. It finally got uploaded. By that time, I was no longer crying. But the other times, I was bawling, okay? So... Just keep that in mind. But anyway, I love you all so, so, so much. And I'm signing off. Until next time. See you later. Alligator. Just kidding. <laughs> See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope I'm not going to get a copyright, though. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Have I been naughty? I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> Be blessed. Say in the word. See you next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.